What's up everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel and in this video I want to share a tutorial how to make a skin retouching in Pixelmator Pro. Now by choosing this example I wanted to make it more tricky um, because uh, with the light pimples you can uh, use repair tool and clean up the skin. However, in general there are more work to do if you want to remove the all redness or all blemishes. So let's begin. Now, first of all, you need to duplicate this layer two times, so press Command plus J two times and turn off the visibility of the middle layer. Choose the top layer and go to Effects tab and from here add a high pass filter, so you can just type high and it will add. Okay, so let's make it two and a half pixels. Don't try to be as accurate as possible because you can always change the value anytime later. Now change the layer blending mode into linear light. The next step would be turn on the visibility of the middle layer. So choose it. Again, go to effects tab and add a blur. So choose the Gaussian blur and add around 15 pixels. Okay, the next step would be to create an empty layer and fill it with a gray color. And here you can find gray scale slider and choose the 50% mark. This is a crucial step and I will show you later what happens if you don't choose the gray color. Okay, so the next step would be to add a noise to this layer. So go to effects tab and type in noise and add let's say 30% and after that add a Gaussian blur. Make it around 8 pixels. Okay, before going further, I have to say that there is a difference between order of each of these effects. So if you move noise layer above, uh, it will change the final image appearance. There is no single answer which is uh, better. It depends case by case. We will see that later. Now you just need to change the blending mode to overlay and then just hold shift, choose the first copied layer and press command plus G to group these all layers into single one. So with this group layer created, let's add a mask by opening context menu, holding option key on the keyboard and press add a mask. Now go to the brush tool, choose the white color, make sure you have softness of 100% and as for opacity, let's, let's make it 100% too. Make sure you have selected mask layer and start painting the cheeks. Okay, and where is the effect, you may ask. So now there is a power of moving the sliders in the right way. So choose the bottom layer of the group, go to Effects tab and move the Gaussian radius slider to the right. And the magic is happening right here, right now. And we can continue on brushing further. And here's what we achieved by using these three combined layers together. So as I said before, I want to show you what happens if you don't choose the right color, which in this case is gray. So let's change the fill color to let's say red or blue. That's why we need to select strictly gray color. Also, it can't be too dark or too light. We need a 50% of gray level. Let's see what happens if we change the order of applied effects. So let's move noise layer above the Gaussian blur. And as you can see, it added the texture. So lower the amount of noise. And yeah, there is a chance that you might uh, prefer this order, but um, I will go back. And just a quick reminder that you can always uh, go back and uh, re reveal more of the natural skin. Just by going on the mask, choosing the black color, setting the past around, let's say, 50% and painting the brushed area. So you can see it starts revealing her original skin. Also make some modifications. You can raise the shadows, change the clarity and smoothen the skin even more. So this is it guys, uh, this is what I wanted to show you and uh, 
while this is not straightforward approach however with a few extra steps you can really make it an easy task for yourself to retouch the portrait um, for the person who has more problematic skin and you can clearly see that there is a big difference between what it was and what it is now that's it guys uh, hopefully it was useful and thank you for watching and see you next time